again for one um, call. Yeah, by Holy Innocence Church and School. Holy Innocence Church is an Anglican Episcopalian church. Destroyed in 1831 and rebuilt in 1839. The Holy Innocence Anglican Church. Again, I'm looking back up to Ashford. Again, I'm on Ashford Long Road. Ashford is spelled A Y S H F O R D. And this is the road that leads to Harrison Scale and West Mahogany. First of all, this road here will lead you back to Brian's Road in West Mahal, St. Thomas. This is better referred to as the line. And it will also, this is also the space here, which the Vickers Club once stood. The Vickers Club, which used to be the church center, where, you, where the old Holy Innocence Boys School was. So this is Holy Innocence Anglican Church. We have lots of family that are laid to rest now. So I will soon cross the street and go into the churchyard, which is on the opposite side of the road. Because like I said before, they do not bury people in here anymore. Since the churchyard in here is filled, very seldom they will put down anybody in there. So as I, have, as I said before, I have lots of family laying to rest, laying down in this churchyard from my mother's side one of my aunts my, from my great grandmother my first aunt cousins great uncles and other resting in Holy Innocence churchyard so this is the churchyard here part of the churchyard Oh, the cricket pavilion over here. All oh, the pasture behind the cemetery. All oh, the churchyard and the cemetery behind here. All oh, the cemetery. So this is where to bury the people. This box. Yeah. Just that's the box, right? Yeah. Uh, um, I wanna do one new classes though. Are you ready? Yeah. So this is the church cemetery. Where the people are now later, right? Eh?
So the last person in my family that was there to rest here is Golda Delcina Brown. Buried to the, in the middle here. I'm not, I don't want to look at the I'm videoing the dead or uh, tombstone, but I guess just, just showing you that my family, that I have a lot of family from my mother's side in this church cemetery. So again, this is Ashford Long Road, Ashford St. Thomas. And again, this Ashford is spelt A-Y-S-H-F-O-R-D. And this is the road that will be leading to Harrison Steel. Oh, that's my hard belief. Ashford Long Road. Back up Ashford again. Yeah. Yeah. It is also said that when service is going on at Holy Innocent, that the organ from the church vibrates in the cave, causing a vibration in the cave. This is the road that will lead you back to the cave and to West Mahogany. I was just scared when I was actually my heart belief is that this word. Many people refer to Holy Innocent as Rexmore Hall. Many people refer to Holy Innocent as Rexmore Hall. But this is the tip of Ashford, where Ashford ends. Ashford will end above the church around the corner here, and that is where Rexmore Hall will begin. That little area where Rachman Hall begins is referred to as Sally Corner. I don't know how the name Sally Corner came about, but I came about hearing it called Sally Corner. And I guess my mother and them would have heard it called so too. So, Sally Corner is for the corner by the fourth office. School building again. So down the road, the bleeding back down to Ashford uh, via, via Hortwell and Jack and the Box Gully. Hortwell, I mean, Ash Ashford, Long Road used to have a lot of drag racing years ago. Years ago. Racing used to take place on that road. And again, this is the school building which has the mural graphic on it which was done by Miss Hume Connell in 2005 depicting things in St. Thomas. We can see Mr. Lester Vaughan below here, the one reading the book, who was the principal of Holy Innocent School back in the 1950s and 1960s, reading to the school children. The monkey here is at Rexmore Hall Gully. You can see the windmill here at either Morgan Lewis in St. Andrew or Sturgis in St. Thomas. And you can see the top band, the Barbados top band. Another beautiful work of art. So my great aunts, this first of all, this was the girls' school, which was damaged. It was a board school then, which was damaged by Hurricane Janet in September 1955, the hurricane that struck Barbados and the Caribbean in 1955. 
and then in then it was rebuilt to this modern wall structure Janet damaged Holy Innocence Janet damaged a lot of buildings in Bali so Holy Innocent was one of them in the 19, in the 50s and that was where the girls school was Holy Innocent girls school used to be there so the church needs more now it does surely does soon from now I will take a walk in the church in the churchyard again So this is Holy Innocence Churchyard. As I said before, they do not bury people in this cemetery anymore unless it is a by grave or a family grave. The grave of George W.T. George Gooding and Mildred Gooding and the children Jeffrey T. and Sheila. As you can see, the church needs a good mowing now. The grass is growing too tall, the lawn needs mowing. I guess over the weekend, someone will come and mow the lawn. I'm just saying that I guess. To the affectionate memory of John W. Carrington, who died the 22nd of January, 1889, at the age of 53. In memory of Walter Philip Smith, who died the 60th of June, 1918, at the age of 82, and his wife Elizabeth Heinz Trotman, who died the 24th of October, 1914, at the age of 76. So these are all family vaults here within the church here. So Holy Innocent is an Anglican church in the countryside, another beautiful country church here in the heart of Barbados. This is the bell tower here which was placed here sometime in the early 90s to replace the former bell tree that was here. This bell was rung by the famous sexton of the Holy Innocence Church, Carlos Abdonald Daniel, who was the sexton for 52 years, from 1941 to 1993. He's near to rest here now, at Holy Innocence. You can see the Holy Innocence Primary School in the background. So Holy Innocence is in the countryside. It is a country church, a rural church, and well, ad well adored by the residents of St. Thomas, this side of St. Thomas. They cherish this church very well. It has lots of memories for them. The old vicarage here which is now referred to as the, the old vicarage here, which was, which is now vacant. The last priest that I'm aware of that used to live here was Reverend Light, who was the priest here from 1987 to 2011, about 23, 24 years. I think the whole meetings and functions here now, but I don't think anyone lives here
don't know if I'm trespassing or not. As I said before, but as I said before, no one lives here. As I said before, this front porch here to the front of the church took away the beauty of the church that the church once had. This porch took it away by they took it away by adding this front porch. I've seen all the photos of the church and it looks it look pretty well without the first front porch in it. As I said before, they do not bury people in Holy Innocence churchyard in this churchyard anymore, except it is a by grave or a family grave. As I said before, I have lots of family that are laid to rest here at Holy Innocence. Such as my cousins and great grandparents. In sacred memory of the following families William Green, John and Elizabeth Weeks, William and Walter Daniel, Lenore and Alan Daniel, and the Glasgow family. May they rest in peace. Night is now approaching. The grave of former organist Hudson de Costa Drakes, who was the organist of Holy Innocent Spring, Holy Innocent Church, and he was also a principal of Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary School, which is in this same parish in St. Thomas. So this is all the churchyard here, which is said is no vacant, I mean no fill, so they do not bury people in here anymore. The grave of Lester St. Clair Vaughan former principal of Holy Innocence Primary School back in the 1950s and 60s. He also wrote the National Pledge of Barbados in 1973. And he was an organist of Holy Innocence Church as well. Lester St. Clair Vaughan, born in 9th of November 1910 and died the 16th of September 2003. So back at where I stopped, once again, thank you for your time and have a blessed day. You can see the sun has now gone, done. And it is that kind of time in the year when it will be getting that fast. So I will close off this video. Thanks for watching now. And do have a blessed and a wonderful evening. Lovely guys. And to your lovely comments let me know what you think about this video and so on thanks for watching now and have a blessed evening